I first wanted to preface this video and explain that the reason why I was expecting a cooler, I guess you could say, is because I'm in a sorority, or I was, I graduated, and usually when you turn 21, your little paint you a cooler, but due to the timing of when my birthday was, it was just so busy and everyone just kind of forgot about it. I didn't really care, but then I got bored during quarantine. I was like, I kind of want one. And so I decided to take it upon myself and just make it myself. So that's what this is. So the day that I impulsively decided to do this, I started off by going to Target to buy a cooler. And ideally, I was going to get paint, but then they didn't have paint, so we went to Joann's. And we couldn't get paint until the next day at Joann's, so we just went home and sanded the cooler because that was the only thing that we could do with it. We're at Joann's trying to get paint. Wish us luck. Success! Success! So we had luck finding paint and Mod Podge at Joann's, so I started off by putting a layer of Mod Podge on the cooler. After that, I put a base layer of paint on there, just did plain white paint. I didn't really care how this layer turned out because no one was going to see it, it was going to get covered anyway. So the first design that I painted was my favorite hockey player's jersey for when he played for the Dallas Stars. I thought this was very fitting because his number was 21 and this cool was supposed to represent my 21st. After that, I decided to paint the background for a Margaritaville-themed side, so I just painted a sunset beach ocean picture. So on this day, I focused on painting the backgrounds on two different sides. The first side that I painted was kind of a mountain background scenery, and the next one was going to be originally a marble type effect, but... I didn't really know how to go about it, so it kind of just turned into this, and it's going to be the background for the school logo of the college I went to. So today I just finished the two sides that I worked on yesterday. On the mountain side, the front, I just wrote my last name, and it looks like this. And then on the other side that I worked on, I drew the power cat or the logo for Kansas State University and put my graduation year on it. I was honestly dreading this day because ever since I saw someone else put Baby Yoda on their cooler, I wanted to have Baby Yoda on my cooler, and I'm not artistic at all, so I knew it would be difficult and be extremely hard for me to do, and I was going to try to pawn it off of someone else, but then I was like, no, just do it yourself. So this is me trying my hardest to get it perfect, and I have him holding one of my favorite beverages. For the background, I just decided to paint it black and have white dots all around him so it was like he was in space because Star Wars. And then on the side, I drew two lightsabers. And so it looks like this. My next task was to draw a parrot, which I was also nervous about and forgot to film me doing it. But then I wrote it's five o'clock somewhere in the water and outlined it in black. And on my last two corners, I drew a liar and then Alpha Chi Omega, which was my sorority. On this last day, I just put a final layer of Mod Podge to seal everything and then my cooler was done. I had a lot of fun doing this and I definitely recommend doing it for yourself or as a gift. It can be personalized and just all in all a lot of fun and you can keep it forever. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And comment down below what side of my cooler was your favorite.